what y'all be thinking, but um, yeah, I was 98% sure. Oh shit, my chicken, I'll be back. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> welcome back to my channel and thank you guys for watching so in today's video we have a long awaited y'all been stepping on my neck up under me every single day coat haul that's right heifers y'all heard me right i'm sorry for my you know american slang but i've been watching like girlfriends all day and i'm just i catch on quick okay Where's the coat haul, Lisa? Where's the coat haul, Lisa? Where's the coat haul, Lisa? Where's the coat haul? When are you gonna do the coat haul? Didn't you say you're gonna do a coat haul? The next video better be a coat haul. You guys have been asking for this coat haul. And before you guys decided to cut me, unsubscribe, show up at my front door, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do this coat haul. I've just been super busy and you know, just life catches up with you. That's why I haven't done it as of yet. Before we get on with the video, I want to do a quick, quick hair review for you guys. And it's about this hair that I have on my head. This is another Julia hair video. And guys, I actually made this with myself. I don't know if this one is crap today, but um, I try. Okay. Send me three bundles of... 26 inch loose wave and then like I said a straight frontal and it was 20 inches so if you can see that curl pattern I did not curl it the hair came like this you can see and then this is how long it comes up to right now it's not as curly as um it was when I like first made the wig and first got the hair it was much 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 curlier but um i put a straightener through it just at like the top actually on this wig right now i only have two bundles so you guys can judge whether the bundles are thick or not but it looks pretty normal to me right now it looks like there's three bundles in this hair i would not be able to tell the difference i'm pretty much in love with this hair i really 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 love the curl pattern the loose wave is just absolutely gorgeous the only one pet peeve i have with this hair is that when they sent the hair to me they did not send the matching frontal they sent me a straight frontal and then loose wave hair i had to put some curls in the frontal it was just a bit annoying i asked for loose wave hair and i asked for a loose wave frontal so i'm pretty sure that they do loose wave frontals on their site i remember seeing it otherwise i wouldn't have asked for loose wave hair it doesn't tangle just really minimal shedding as well the frontal is quite good bleached well the frontal was somewhat easy to pluck and i would say i'm like a beginner at plucking frontals really loved my julia straight hair that i had um i was talking about that in my last video so i knew i was pretty much gonna love this julia loose wave hair as well let us get on with the coat haul so the first coat that we have here is a coat that you guys have been seeing a lot of it's this cream borg jacket and it just looks like so and it's i wouldn't say it's maxi length it's maybe just comes just a bit below your knees and then it's got these turtoise shell buttons so i first saw this coat on instagram actually i think i saw it on Catherine bond and i absolutely loved it on her it just looked gorgeous i was like where is that coat from i need it i've been looking for a coat like this for a long time so i clicked on the link and went to go and buy the coat and i was actually very very surprised um this coat is from quiz quiz clothing i have not shopped at quiz for a long time and when i say a long time i mean since i was looking for my prom dress just not a clothing store that i usually gravitate to at all the original price of this was 70 pounds or 70 something pounds i believe but then they were doing a 20 percent off discount and i managed to scoop this up for 56 pounds i picked this up in a size 12 just because the size 10 was sold out but i love my coats oversized 
I like this coat, I think it's a nice coat, but I'm not 100% convinced by it. The material, it's just, it's not as thick as I would have liked it to be. Next coat I have is another teddy coat. It is this beautiful, gorgeous teddy coat, and it's in this brown camel teddy colour, basically. It's almost a maxi length, but not completely. So yeah, it comes up to here. This winter, I wanted to make sure that I had a teddy coat to call my own. So when I saw this one on AliExpress, I literally got so excited. There were really, really good reviews for this coat. So I was like, you know what? I need to pick it up. I love the colour. It's really, really thick as well. It's gorgeously, gorgeously lined. So I picked this up in a size medium. So now the only thing with this jacket is that I really wish I'd picked it up in a size large just for that bigger fit. This next coat has definitely, definitely, definitely been a winter favourite and still is a winter favourite. I've literally been wearing it with everything. Basically just a fur coat. Again, I picked this coat up from AliExpress. So it's got this pelted fur um, detail down the sleeves, down the front and back of the jacket as well. I literally just pair this jacket every single way. I've paired it with hoodie, jeans, boots, little cute mini side bag and you're literally good to go. The only pet peeve I have about this jacket is that they took the pelted to like an extreme. So like you definitely can see that um this leather that's in between the fur on the arms i paid 41 pounds for this coat so the next coat i have is um a bit of a new coat in my wardrobe so it's this faux fur coat it's in this gorgeous kind of maroon kind of maroonish red orange family if that makes any sense to you guys at all and i've been looking for a coat like this for ages I went to river island and i saw my perfect coat so it was kind of similar to this but um much lighter in color absolutely fell in love it was gorgeous. It was been everything I was looking for. I tried it on. It fit me so nicely. And then I went to go and check the price. The jacket was £95. Which for this kind of coat, I just didn't think I fit or not. But that's basically £100. But I really, really loved the jacket. So I was looking for a replacement for the longest time. And then I came across this one from ASOS. Obviously it's Bash Club, but um, they sell brush cut on ASOS. The only thing is I wasn't like entirely sure how this jacket was going to look on me but then I got a gift card for Christmas so I was like you know what let me use part of the gift card and just get some money off on this coat. So I bought this coat because I feel like I should have just got the River Island one. I like it but I'm not convinced about this coat. It wasn't the look that I was going for and it wasn't the look the River Island one gave me. I was waiting desperately for the River Island one to go into Boxing Day sale, but it never did. Like I said I got it in a size large. So the next coat I'm gonna be really honest with you guys I didn't I don't like this coat. This is one thing that I've ordered from AliExpress that I'm not fond of. So this is basically this grey fur pelted coat. When it came, I was just not pleased. I have not worn this coat since I bought it, but it's from AliExpress, so I couldn't return it. Like, this coat is just not clicking for me. It's just not it. I doubt whether I'm gonna try it on for you guys, but I just wanted you guys to see the coat. I got this from AliExpress and it was £25 I believe but that was in the Black Friday sale. I got this in a size large. The next coat I have is another fur coat and I absolutely positively love this coat. This coat is everything and I've literally been wearing it every single day again from aliexpress when aliexpress come through they come through beautiful fur coat and it's different from the other one that i showed you because this one has a collar 
and is longer i don't know whether you guys can see it but it's in this beautiful beautiful dark brown kind of chocolate color and i love the fact that it's kind of that pelted material but it's not as obvious as the other fur coat that i have i'm thinking of buying it in more colors a light brown color like a camel color um, I'm thinking definitely a black. I picked this coat up for £49, so £50. You would not find this on the high street, especially not for £50. So I definitely think I've got a bargain. I picked this coat up in an extra, extra large just because I wanted it to be really slouchy. And every time I wear this coat, I just feel so warm. Everything about this coat, I just, I love it. Onto the last coat of this haul. And this one is actually, again, one of my favorite coats that I've bought this winter. It's this big black maxi Borg coat. And y'all just been loving this coat. And I've been loving this coat. And y'all just been loving this coat. This coat is actually from Topshop. Coat is heavy AF. And I first saw this coat on my beloved sis, Crystal. And um, I think she went out. She actually went out with KK. Hey, girls, how you doing? I think we should all should do a little outing together, you know. I knew that Crystal knew KK because Crystal told me that she knew KK. But then at the time Crystal told me that she knew KK, I didn't know KK like that. Like, I knew KK, but I didn't know KK. Y'all feel me? So then... I now know no KK and I've been knowing knowing Crystal. So it's like what that was a little message for Crystal and KK. Anyways, yeah, I saw this coat on Crystal and I was like, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. Where did you get this jacket? Where did you get this coat? Do you see this coat? Oh my gosh, this coat is really heavy. I have to hang it back up. Oh, so down sold out in every single size in fact it wasn't even on the website one day i was just browsing the top shop website and look at look at suck it suck it now what do i see in my size on the top shop website once i was ready for this coat i knew this coat was ready for me it's in this gorgeous gorgeous borg material i picked this up in a size 10 it's definitely one of my favorite coats it's good quality it keeps you so warm i have to be careful with what i wear underneath this because i will literally be boiling the coat was actually originally priced at 95 pounds but they were doing a 20 percent discount when um i bought the coat so i actually got it for 70 something pounds which is 76 pounds which is a really really good price especially for this coat because i know i'm definitely gonna wear it next year okay guys so we have one more coat that i actually forgot about because it was downstairs this is a brown faux fur coat and this coat is from h&m hunting down i had to do to find this coat like literally every instagram babe who ever lived basically had this coat but by the time i clocked onto this coat it was literally sold out everywhere i checked every h&m they literally didn't have it so i finally went on to depop and i found it on depop when the spirit of a coat moves me i have to get it and i always get it. it's in this beautiful beautiful kind of light kind of chocolate brown color it's just a gorgeous coat i picked this coat up in a size 10 i believe and it just fits perfectly this with some jeans with a really cute turtleneck some boots a mini side bag you're literally good to go so again this jacket was from h&m but i picked it up on depop and i managed to get it on depop for 70 something pounds which is really good because i think that's the original price but um yeah this is the h&m coat yeah that is everything for my coat slash a jacket haul i really really hope you guys enjoyed this i'm so sorry that this is coming out late like you guys have been asking me for a long time but like i said i've just been super super busy somebody said when are you going to do this coat haul winter is literally almost over i don't know where you are sis but winter is here and is present winter is very much still here i will try and link all the coats down below if they're not available i will link something similar the link for this hair will be down below as well if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys in my next one Bye. Don't be so bad, I'm bringing what's going on Why don't you care?